Yo, what is good for the game? Welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. You see, we're back with our girl Aloy. You know, we got the nice little suit on. We got the bow. She put the bow away. Okay, we next to a uh, campfire. We got the soothing music playing. Let's go. All right, this is it. Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. It must be Shadow Carter. Need to find the bastards at this. Strange. Need a scratch on it. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Got someone to fight here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Perfect. Ooh, headshot. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Bruh. That was light work. That was light work. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. So much blood. Dang, bro! What was they doing out here? A lot of people died here. A massacre. Massacre? Who got massacred, bro? Those rocks are shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Uh, Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. 
I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus' face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Alright, Aaron, uh... Let's hope your sister's alive. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. That's good. I have something urgent to tell the King. Then you shall have your chance. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. It's too late. Yeah, bro, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, am I going the right way? <laughs> Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. Find him to be a reasonable man. Just walked right in each Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. She's I alive! We Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osirons. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. I need to get going. I know. Well. They say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. 
Alright. 2,000 miles. Do I not have like a travel pack, bro? I need bunny meat, man. Yes, sir. Travel pack. Yes, sir. Okay. We're gonna travel right here. I finesse the system. Guys, I'm a different breed. This must be pitch cliff. Murad's agent should be at the mudflats by now. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. More tracks. I think someone followed whoever we're following. That sounds bad. Guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. They've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Hope Ursa's here. Derva says you gotta eat dirt. Lose 
lose your wits or anything else. Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. try to break me shows what he knows I, sh I should have been with you why didn't you come for me I, I know I'm a useless trunk but no idiot I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap I couldn't let you get hurt just didn't think it'd be that good a trap thought I could take him out <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Oh! Ursa. Wait, no, no wait! No. Please. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> she died? I won't let you down. I promise. So I thought we were gonna find her and then she was gonna be alive and then we're gonna bring her back. Aaron, I... I'm so sorry. You've gotta find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. Bruh. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. I thought she was gonna live. Oh. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Head Rip to Meridian. Rip in the comment section. It, I'll bet we find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Bruh, she's dead. Bro, another 2,000 miles. Uh. Let's go! Travel pack, baby! Those suckers really thought I was gonna walk. You guys must be crazy. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel she wouldn't want us to waste time talking she'd want us to find Durval she said he raved about smoke darkening the Sun tell him what you found in his papers a letter it mentioned a shipment of blaze being sent to a warehouse here only it wasn't addressed to Duval the name was Ayland Forgeman does that mean anything to you uh, sounds familiar yes a landlord the Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. 
The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I will. But once this threat to Meridian is dealt with, another one looms. We have to talk about the Eclipse. We will. I promise. This is the place! You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Bro, what was that music? <laughs> what was that? Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. Alright. I'll shut up. And what is this? If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's there's got to be a way to stop it. Is dude Durval evil? If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get... It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Oh yeah, push. Actually, no, I can't push that down. Oh, can I? It's not gonna fall on the people. Help me push this out. Okay, brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it, because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. No tracks. It's just a bit of blaze on them. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. Durval did find a way into the palace. Oh, whoa.
I could. Hey, sucker. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh! Double headshot. Oh no! Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench, and choke on the ashes. Aloy! Oh, it didn't work, yes sir. Something's wrong. Didn't I? I didn't hear anything. Oh There's yeah. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. Oh yeah, we stopped no! it. No, it should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Oh yeah, we stopped it. Hey, turn that off, Aloy. Dawn's coming. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Give me a challenge, Duvall. It should rename you Duvall or the Trash because you on the floor. As much oh, as I okay, wish okay. Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up. I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Yes, sir. Lay down. So yo team B gang, that's gonna wrap up this episode for Horizon Zero Dawn, okay? That was a nice uh episode. I, I enjoyed that, okay. I actually had some fun in some of the other episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um more horizon coming soon. Um make sure you guys subscribe and notifications on smash like with your friends and right, T B gang. Peace. <laughs>